seconds and stay on with us. We also have Sanket Yanagi of the KPCC. If you heard what Mr. Malviya was saying, he's saying we've heard something similar from Rahul Gandhi in previous states where infighting is a problem for the Congress party like Rajasthan or even Punjab and look how that has gone. So is there any guarantee that when Rahul Gandhi says all is well, it will actually sustain? Rahul Gandhi says or not even otherwise also all is well with the Congress. Number one, one is a CLP leader. Sidramaya is a CLP leader. And Mr. D.K. Shukumar is a party leader. It's a party president. He said both to be together in the sense, legislative party in as much as the Congress party have to be together working, unitedly working, and they together have to fight an election to root out the BJP. As such, as we have seen and witnessed the situations in Karnataka and the problems, law and order problems in Karnataka, initiated by the BJP and BJP's uh, the other panel that is called uh, uh, BJP's B wing, which is either the STPI or the PPFI, how the communal clashes have begun during the Bomai's rule, and how the BJP is very busy in maintaining the law and order, and it is not been is able to do that. And there is an infight already going on in the BJP. BJP is facing the heat from its own party workers in the state of Karnataka, which they are not able to provide even a minimum security to their lives. And that being the situation in Karnataka, what Mr. Rahul Gandhi has said is, okay. we, together, we together are taking this forward, fighting it against the BJP and against the communal okay. forces. I will, I will come back to you about the chief minister ambitions of both T.K. Shivkumar and Sita Ramaya. But Mr. Malviya respond to what Sanket Yanagi is saying. He's saying, what is the BJP even talking about in fighting where there is lack of trust within their own party today with the backdrop of the BJP youth worker Praveen who was hacked to that saying that there is lack of trust within the party workers with the BJP themselves. Mr. Malvia, can you hear me? Okay, we'll try and reestablish that connection with Amit Malvia. But Sanket Yanagi, let me continue the conversation with you. You're saying all is well, there is no differences. But the aspirations of ambitions of both Siddharamaya and D.K. Shivakumar are known to all. And this is what the BJP is cashing upon. They're saying that when you had ambitions of, say, an Avjot Singh Sidhu and a Captain Amrinder Singh, Rahul Gandhi had tried to do firefighting there as well. But see how that went. So what is the assurance that has been given to the party or the Karikatas who are working on the ground that personal ambitions are one side, the larger cause of the party is what we are all working for? So either Sidramaya or Mr. D.K. Shukumar have been very clear since from the beginning that we do not have a chief ministerial candidate. Instead, we depend on the democracy and democratic rule. Firstly, the voters would elect the MLAs and the legislative party leaders then would be elected by the MLAs. And legislative party leader, in consultation with the party high command, will take a call as to who would be the chief minister. It is not for anyone to say that uh, they would be the chief minister or someone else would be the chief minister, X, Y, Z would be the chief minister. And such statements are being condemned by the party leadership. And such, see, such persons who are making such statement that someone X, Y, Z would be the chief minister in future, this is not known to the party leadership. This is not known to the party or the okay. party's democracy or the principles. And known to the democracy at all. So whoever is, we call it as indiscipline. And such indiscipline is not being tolerated, mm. and uh, it is being immediately controlled. Okay. Just because someone makes a statement that X would be his nominee for the chief mm. minister, or Y would be the nominee, he would be the better person to fit in the chief minister's post, does not mean that it's an opinion of the party. It's an individual opinion. In a democracy, everyone has a right to have okay. his own opinion. Okay, fair but enough. We really will have is... to see uh, for how long do we actually see this united front because we're getting some very different reactions from the ground. But Mr. Yanagi, appreciate you joining us here on CNN News 18. So as I said, even as the high command is giving a message of this collected, uh, collective leadership, supporters of former Chief Minister Sidhar Amaya are upping the ante. Former MLA K. in Rajanna, who is heading Sidhar Amaya's birthday bash, the 75th birthday bash, organizing committee indirectly has referred to him as the Chief Ministerial face. Another loyalist, M.B. Patel, has also gone on to say that the party led by Sita Ramaya will come to power. So... Where does this then leave the so-called unity of the Congress party? Ritu is now back with us. 
And either this is where it becomes interesting while you have the spokespersons of the KPCC and others now coming and saying that we are already won, we have a larger cause to fight which is the BJP. Look at these comments as far as whereas MLAs are concerned, the battle lines are clearly drawn. So then this message that is being sent out by Rahul Gandhi, where does it leave the unity? Yes, as we've been discussing this, you know, you see the Chintan Shiva that took place in the Rajasthan as well. This was one of the main topics that the Congress party had discussed then also. And the later point, every time Siddharamaya and DK Shikumar got to go to Delhi, this was again a main discussion that the party had had and as well as with the top leaders as well, whether it's the Surjewala as well. This was a constant topic that they had discussed about that. That shouldn't be the case in the Karnataka where the leaders speak openly about the CM's face. But what happens on the ground level is completely different. Just a couple of days that the top uh, uh, Congress leaders uh, in fact want these uh, uh, MLAs for that matter or the supporters to not discuss about the CM's face. Just days and then you see these big statements that have been made. Now that you know after a long time as well uh, the DK Shukumar who had happened to be quite about this for a long time. Again he also been very much vocal about it and now you see the M former MLA Rajana in fact who is one of the uh, member of that uh, organizing committee of this birthday bash. Now he also Dire indirectly, in fact, uh, says Karnataka's next uh, CM would be the Siddharamaya and now for which defending is also, you see, the campaign chairman, co a committee campaign uh, chairman, that's MB Patil, okay. also saying the same that the uh, the state is looking forward to fight the assembly polls under Siddharamaya's leadership. Now, MB Patil is the same person mm. who had, in fact, just a couple of days back, he had also told that why should he come in between Siddharamaya and DK?